So the question is, how did he die? What was the cause? Well, that's a good question, man. I think many things led up to the death mm -hmm. first. Standing on the rake, the, the immediate head injury from yeah. that. Fell backwards into a beehive. That was an sting. issue. Yeah, Ra rolled down the hill, causing by the beehive. Landed down a rapid. Yeah, 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 down a rapid into those rocks and off the cliff. Yep. Hit by a cannon straight off that yeah. as, as he went over the cliff. Yeah, that piano landed bit. on him, so he fell down to the sea quicker. It was pretty bad. There were sharks in the sea. They weren't very friendly to him. No, he got eaten. Then a submarine shot him. Yeah, big torpedoes. That, that didn't, it was not Tom's day, really, it was, was not it? not Tom's day, but I think... He actually died of a bladder infection. Oh really? Well, yeah. Who would be able to tell us these things? Well, a profession called a pathologist, and I think we should take on the role. Okay. So first we look at the external and see what's going on. It's pretty messed up, Wayne. Alright, let's not look at Tom for now, let's you look at an ordinary patient. Okay, Dr Wayne, what do you think's going on here? Well, externally, I'm yeah. seeing no bruising, no cuts, he hasn't lost his head, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so okay. I think he didn't die from violence. So it could be internal, I'll take out his organs. This one's far too green. Yeah. So what it's likely to be is bacteria or virus, and that's what a pathologist would look at. So you better wash your hands in a minute. I think I will. Uh, so a pathologist would look at the internal organs and mm -hmm. see what bacteria and viruses are present and which of those could kill someone. So it's a cause yeah. of death. So pathologists look at patho pathogens. Yeah. Yeah. Because it could the, the guy, if it was a murder case, he could have been poisoned or something. Yeah. Could have just been bacteria. So it's, you've got to check. You've got to check these things, absolutely. So this is all about bacteria and viruses. We start with bacteria. Yeah, it's the first in the book. It's so just a revision. Yeah, yeah. Of, of AS. So in AS you have to learn what prokaryotes look like, and uh, bacteria is one of those. Yeah. So it will look very similar to those. There are a few parts that are optional, like the flotilla and the pili, but we're going to draw them all on, because Yep, you have to know them all, so we might as well pretend this particular one has everything, all the options. All the possible options that there are. So I'll start labelling as Wayne is drawing. I'll do it in blue, because blue. So these things here, they are, these are pili. Now these are sort of like the messenger bits for the bacteria. They can pierce another bacteria and then they can send bits of cap, uh, plasmid, genetic, genetic information to sort of improve them. Diversity and stuff. And that gives a greater range of diversity for that yeah. species of bacteria, hence they're likely to become resistant to drugs quicker, which yeah. is a benefit for them, not so good for Tom. Uh, what you mentioned was the plasmid, isn't it? Yes, yeah, and that's what they move, that's a circular DNA, and it contains stuff. Yeah, and that's what they exchange. This very outer layer of a bacteria is called a capsule. Yep, yeah, so I'll, I'll label that while you're calling it in green. So that's the capsule, and that's that's an optional feature yeah. as well. It's a protective layer, like the cell wall is, but it's a bit more dif a bit different to that, isn't it? Really? Yep, it's it's slightly gooey. Um, it's another protective layer, but it's also to hydrate this or keep it hydrated. Yeah, prevent uh, loss of liquid because if you dehydrate bacteria, they die. Sad times. Also, yeah. being slightly sticky, it gives it makes the bacteria able to form massive colonies of bacteria. Yeah, sort of like, yeah. like a sticky mucusy lump of lots of stuff. So we go into the next layer, the cell wall. Now that yeah. is present on, on all of these prokaryotes. But it's not quite the same as a plant cell wall. No, it's not made of cellulose, it's made of peptidoglycan. Is that right? Yeah. Peptide. Pe Peptidoglycan. That's the one. Um, that. I can smell it, I can't really say it. Peptidoglycan. You know, there. That. It's, yeah. it's not made of cellulose. And that's the cell wall. Yeah. You have the cell membrane inside there. Cell past that, yeah. You don't have to know anything special about this. It's no. just the next layer. It's uh, present on all of them. Back here, I've drawn a flagellum. You know that that's for movement. It's essentially a tail. Yeah. Then we have the things inside it. So we have rhizomes, as normal, that are site of protein synthesis. Yeah, so they're moving free in the cytoplasm. That's another thing. It's cytoplasm. Nothing special about that. It's just the area within the cell. Yeah. We have sort of meshed DNA yep. over here, which is there, as, as you know, prokaryotes don't have a nucleus. Circular DNA. So we have that thing there. Yeah. And um, finally we have the cell in folding, which give a new special name now. We call it the... Oh, um, mesosome. Yeah, mesosome, and that's where bacteria respire. Absolutely. Um, the division of bacteria is by something called binary fission. Yeah, so it just sort of replicates in itself and then splits and does that repeatedly, which means it can replicate extremely fast. And um, that's, that's bacteria in a nutshell. That is bacteria um, in a nutshell. So a pathologist would look for the different bacteria and see what could have happened. Yeah, uh, but it might not have been a bacteria, it might have been a virus. So that's the next thing. Yeah, so we'll rub off this bacteria. 
That's just a revision of AS with a few new words such as mesosome and the peptide I don't like and think. Uh, binary fission might be a new word as well, the process of them asexually reproducing. Yeah. So viruses are a bit meaner. They're a bit odd, really, because they're not actually alive. No, yeah, favourite biology fact, they're not a living thing at all. No. So they, they don't use, they can't reproduce themselves. And that's sort of how they work. They are basically a protein. It, it, it would be school with a bit of DNA in the middle. It's a viral DNA, but yeah. it can be single or double-stranded, that, that can. DNA. So they, they differ a lot. Um, some can invade bacteria, some invade human cells and whatnot. Yeah, they're, they're evil in general, but how do they invade, when That's the main question. That is a good question. So if I draw, this is a human cell. Yeah. Could be any, it's going to have a nucleus. We don't need to bother with all the rest. That's not too important. So the virus sees its target and it says, it then it knocks on the door it. and attacks it. So it enters through endocytosis. Which means it's sort of like this, it's going... Yeah, sort of bonds with the vesicle and then merges with it. That's the nucleus still. So that's the cell fusing with the membrane, the proteins, and then it enters its viral DNA into the cell. So then what it's going to do is it's going to use the things in the cell, yeah. uh, which are actually used to reproduce your own DNA to make new cells. But it doesn't want that, it wants viruses, so it changes yours, which we get onto a later topic, how does it, into viruses, so it then makes loads and loads of little viruses, which isn't very friendly, and once it's used your, your cell in a horrendous way, it just destroys it and leaves. Yeah, so that's giving rise to a lot more of the initial... Uh, virus, so then it can attack X amount of more of your cells, and that's how it spreads through the body very rapidly. You'll notice that it, as it did this, because it's made of protein, as it entered its viral DNA and then closed it up, you see here it's closed up. It closed it up so it can use the cell, so that yeah. it doesn't want it to die until it's replicated, which is evil. It is really evil, and they are evil. We go through tuberculosis and HIV and AIDS later yeah. on in the chapter. In a lot more detail. In a lot more this. detail, so you sort of see how they affect the body and in what stages they do it. But it's not, not all hope is lost. We do have defences, which we'll get onto in the next video. Yeah. Uh, but for now, good news Tom happened to just be a cartoon from that thing with yeah, Jerry. And yeah, so, so he's actually fine because cartoons fine. are invincible. Yep. Which is a bonus. I wish I was a cartoon. Oh, long live Cartoon Network. <laughs>